Welcome to see you in this session. In this session, we will discuss one of the most important things for us, whether for our field of expertise or for our daily activities. It's about water chemistry. So understanding water chemistry is gonna help you to understand many things related to your industry, especially if you are dealing with desalination plants, cooling systems, boiler and steam generation systems, wastewater treatment plants, and many others. In water chemistry, we will get insights about wide range of parameters such as pH, conductivity, TDS, TSS, alkalinity, hardness, solubility, and some others. So it's very important for you to understand the basic information about these parameters, which will help you not only in your industry, but as well as in your daily activities when you are dealing with drinking water and other applications. So we need to understand this part. And whenever you have any question, just write it down and contact me in order to elaborate more for that specific parameter if you have any question related to it. Be ready and let's start. So water chemistry is very crucial for us, especially for operation and maintenance of different water systems, as we can discuss in desalination, cooling system, boilers, and all other systems. Because understanding the water quality and water parameters will help you to improve your water quality, will help you to understand some of the troubleshoots, will help you to understand how to have a smooth operation of your water systems. Especially Especially many of those processes having some KPIs related to water quality, such as sometimes KPI related to COD, BOD, TDS, conductivity, pH, and many others. So there are a wide range of parameters. I'll discuss with you some of them here in this part of training. But whenever you have any question, just write it down. We can discuss it more and more. So we will get insights about TDS, which stands for Total Dissolved Solids. We will get insights about conductivity. We will understand the meaning of water pH. We will understand the meaning of water hardness. We will understand the meaning of water alkalinity. Then we will discuss TSS, which stands for total suspended solids. Then we'll discuss about salt solubility as well as some other parameters such as LSI, which we'll see it later on what it stands for what. Then there are some small other parameters. We need to elaborate them more and more. Trust me, this part of chemistry is very important for you, whether you are an engineer, physicist, a, a therapist, or whoever, because without understanding these parameters, you may not understand how to deal with your system, starting from drinking water till wastewater or desalination or cooling system. So please understand this part and you can always elaborate more and more and search about these parameters in YouTube and you can read more and more understand how we do the analysis for those parameters, how we measure those parameters, what are the interferences of measuring those parameters and others. So it's the time to start now and it's the time to get them one by one, discuss them one by one for the most common parameters. Keep in mind that there are many parameters I didn't discuss it in this course such as heavy metals and many others. But I'll discuss with you the most important ones could affect your health, your system, and your operation. See you soon in the coming sessions to discuss them one by one of these parameters. Be ready and let's start.